again and welcome down to Devon Koi Pond. I won't say a sunny morning because it's not. We did have a glimpse of it earlier but clouded over. In fact it's not been very good the last few weeks. Not a lot of sunshine. We'll uh, pop in and have a look at the solar in a bit and uh, see what it's uh, been doing. But uh, we haven't had a lot of sunshine. Nothing like we had last year at this time. So I'm a bit behind on what I expected to be making but we're hoping to catch up with it. So what's happened this week? Well, I didn't let that filter get all dirty like I did last week. Actually, uh, give it a drop midweek. So uh, that one will want to clean again today, but uh, it isn't as bad as it was last week. Um, I shouldn't leave it like that, but my back just went up to it last week. Still haven't cut the grass. My back's just too bad to push the mower around at the moment. We're gonna have to get to it soon. Either that or I'm gonna need to get a combine in. It's uh, getting to a ridiculous length. Ooh. Fish are all well happy. Test kit, uh, brand new. Yeah, I had a brufty in the week, so I had a brufty prezi from my mum. She knows what I like. Um, those kits, I've always used them. I did think about uh, switching to a Colombo one this time, but these, um, I will recommend them to anybody starting out because uh, they're cheap and they work. Um, all the fancy uh, stuff you can buy really does the job. Yeah, it does. But uh, this will do the job and they're cheap. Right, and I go through about three a year and I do need a new one. The other one uh, I started uh, back just before Christmas and uh, now testing uh, once or twice a week just to uh, keep the food amounts balanced. It's uh, important to test regular. I uh, need to keep it on top of it. As I build the filters up, which is going swimmingly well, as I might say. Right, we'll uh, pop over and have a quick look in the filters in a minute. And uh, today I'm going to be cleaning the Easy Pods because I didn't clean them last week. Um, I won't bother to clean the upflow, but I will give the uh, vortex a full blast. But I'm not going to drag you through all that. But I'll take you over and show you what the vortex is like uh, when it's been dropped midweek, so it gets like sort of three, maybe four days. Then I uh, just. Uh, drop the water level in it, uh, give it a stir around, uh, pull the drain valve on the bottom, let that that out, and then just start with fresh water. I don't go into a big clean on it like I did like in last week's video. I do that uh, once a fortnight, sort of, uh, or on the weekend, a bigger clean, just blast around it with the hose. That one there has to be done twice a week, but I'm pretty sure the upflow now will go a fortnight, so that one will not get a flush this weekend. Um, it just won't need it. Right, so a quick look. Oh. As you can see, water's looking blooming brilliant. Did have the UV on a couple of times in the week. Yeah, these uh, want to clean today. Both Easy Pods. Um, they need a going through. It's a fortnight on them. Uh, do remember I only use them for fines, if uh, you're using them uh, as they should be used then they want to be cleaned when they need cleaning, it's as simple as that. But these are only picking out fines, it's the really mucky stuff you need to get out your pond quick. Skimmer sucking away, skimmer comes up through two easy pods. This is the uh, skimmer flow into the easy pod here and then it goes through these two pods. But uh, I've got jack matting in the skimmer that it has to strain through. Um, this, that's the flow there into the top of the piss filter. The lily flowers still haven't opened, but the lily leaves are starting to spew out all over the place. Oh, see another one I've got hidden in here. Look. So there's going to be quite a few flowers. I really need to thin these lilies out. But I do like them. This box here, I haven't touched since I put it in. I'm uh, going to crack that one open next week and have a look. See what's sort of uh, sticking around in there. So there's two foams in there, plus four layers of jack matting, or five layers of jack matting. But we'll crack that one open live on camera next week just to see uh, what's kind of floating around in it. Now, 
This is the uh, vortex this week. I don't know if you can see in the bottom of it, but uh, it's only half as dirty as it was last time. Reason for that being, I dropped it midweek, which I must do. But when your back's bad, your back's bad, and you just can't do it. Ooh, there's the grass. Look. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to do it, but it can't be this weekend. By the end of the days this week, I've been on two walking sticks. As you can see, spraying in a little bit of water. Um, I'll be topping up uh, as soon as I've done the filter cleans here. But uh, start topping up before I do. It's uh, through the week, through evaporation. I've probably lost oh, crikey, half an inch off the pond through evaporation in the week. It's surprising. So don't all of you go thinking and uh, jumping that you're losing water when it goes down this time of year. This is surprising what you lose through evaporation off of it. It really is. I'll probably lose a bit more than others because of the uh, veg filter here. That sucks a lot of moisture out and loses a lot. When the sun's on that, that lot in there, I can imagine the amount of moisture going out of that. A little bit of khaki poo on the bottom of the pond this morning. Always got it first thing in the morning, so they seem to like uh, crapping overnight. Uh, over the next hour that'll work its way towards the drain and be gone. I think I can get away without the UV again for a few days. Definitely uh, only put the thing on on sunny days because it runs for free. But speaking of that, let's pop in and have a look at the solar a minute. Right, here we go. Workshop a bit of a mess as always. <sighs> right, some more laser cutting to do later. Right, what have we got here? So, this here is about 18 days worth. Right, we've made £6.97 on one bank and £7.64 on the other. That's 18, the 18 days ended today. And uh, like I say, we've not had a lot of sun. I think the worst day I've had in those 18 days, I made 21 pence. That's between the two banks as well. So it was probably only 10p that one bank made or 11p, right? And the best day has been about one pound four pence I think um, basically one bank here on a good day with sunshine for five six hours on the panels I should make about 70 pence on each bank so basically a day I should be making about one pound 40 if the sun's out one pound 30 one pound 40 and it's just not happening we haven't had the sun All right this system was been set up for uh, two years, running one bank of panels. In the first year, the one bank of 480 watt panels actually made around 79 pounds. But uh, bear in mind that was at the old electricity rates. So if you add on the new rates, that'll take that to the 100. So that's where I've been on about 100 pounds of saving on 480 watts of panels. So with two of them, I should make uh, 200 pounds worth of savings in the next 12 months. For the second year on the panels, I made 85 pounds. So I did better in the second year, obviously a lot more sun, it's as simple as that. But the way this summer started off, we need more sunshine. We should be making the peak amounts now and it's just not happening. But you can't rely on the sunshine, even down here in Devon. Sometimes you know it's just not going to blooming happen. All right, all the wiring is finished off here. Yes, I know it looks a little bit uh, messy, but that said, it's all clipped, it's all fastened, all going well. The actual uh, 12 volt bank of batteries here, they're all fully charged. 
two inverters running grid ties I've got the uh, one inverter on the wall here um, this one's uh, kind of uh, for me to switch on when I want to there's another inverter as well connected into the batteries that's down in the box where all the pond electrics are that one's uh, auto switch on that one comes on if the power goes off that inverter automatically comes on the battery bank uh, kicks up and the power's drawn from there to run the pond in a power cut don't ask me how that works I'm no electrician and a mate sorted that out but that all kicks in automatically if the power goes off and then switches itself off when the power comes back on which hopefully isn't too long but there at the moment on the power going out I'm running on I hope you can see that right the glare 163 watts we're running out at the moment I've got the pumps uh, cranked up a little bit but 163 watts and the uh, UV actually is on all right so I mean 50 of those watts or a little bit more is the UV right let's get back outside on the step because uh, as I said there isn't uh, much happening this week looking at some but uh, now looking from this angle there is a bit of a tinge on the water again so definitely uh, with that UV light on chags are always uh, poking around here they were fed only fed an hour ago so they uh, ain't hungry yet right get you on the step Okay, right, so there, quite a quiet day down here. I've got some air going in the pond as well, and I haven't been running any air yet this summer. Um, I just don't need it. I can tell there's enough oxygen in the water because um, round on the pond walls on the side, you get little air bubbles forming, and that just tells you that there's plenty of oxygen in the water. But uh, the weather hasn't been that good to need the extra bubbles. But um, I have got a uh, bubbler going in the corner over there, an air, air ring on it. Right, so not a lot happening this week. So next week I will be taking a look in that cartridge and I've got an adaptation to do on the bottom of the answer filter. I want to get the pump more directly into the pipe work on the bottom of it. I've got a ring of pipe that uh, takes the pump round and that was on it actually when I bought it. Somebody had already modded it and I had a look at it thought, yeah, it's rough and ready, but it does the job. And being as that pump only runs quite slowly, um, it's fine. But uh, I know I'm losing on it. If I uh, sort the pipe work out better on it, I can probably run it at a slightly um, slower flow. I usually run it at about 50% to get the back wash on it. I can probably wind it down a little bit, hence save myself a little bit. So I want to have a look at that. Well, that's about it. All fish happy. Hope everybody's the same. Right. So if you haven't already, please smash like, subscribe. If you're interested in any of the Devon Coy laser cutting, down below the video here, you'll find it on that uh, link to uh, eBay selling this seller who's my uh, better half. She does the selling on eBay for the gear. But if you want anything, contact me there um, or on the Facebook link or on the email that's down below. If for uh, any one off cuts or anything like that, just contact me there and uh, we'll sort something out and see what we can do for you. Right, from down here and not so sunny Devon, in fact I think we might even get a blooming shower. We'll catch you all later. So, bye for now and happy ponding.